Zara, on your right, on your right, I had poked up in the boxes. Jesus. Ooh, I just saw it. Oh, there we go. Oh, another guy there. He's down. I'm amazed he didn't shoot. He's got me in the balls. Was that, is that a guy? Oh, yeah, yeah he's, he's dying. He's just taking a while to do it. Yeah, he was like spinning in circles holding his yeah. head. That was fucking weird. He's going for his Oscar winning performance, you know? <laughs> So, it's been an interesting weekend. Let's just say it like that. Um, CIG revealed, air quotes, um, a lot of stuff to us. Most of it, I would argue, came in the AMA. Uh, the AMA was f the f by far the, f uh, the most informative of everything that we, uh, that we saw. The Squadron 42 news, unfortunately, is... Um, is is it, it misrepresents itself i'll put it that way um i think that you know on the one hand you know you have chris roberts making a post you know he's got the kennedy speech on there you know we we will go for the moon and we will do the other things because they are hard you know we've got that whole you know invoking uh kennedy situation and um that you know that's a great sentiment but the problem is, is coupled with that is the fact that you're really not showing us anything, you know, and that's that's kind of the mix batch. And I think that, you know, this is kind of Chris Roberts's problem is that he's too comfortable with all the things that he has seen, with all the things that he knows, with all the things that, you know, he designs or that everyone designs and builds into the game that they become very sure of themselves in this great thing that they have, but they don't share it with anyone else and they lack the the ability to kind of see things from our perspective and you know they're always like oh no we don't want to show it to you and we don't want to ruin the experience i would argue that if you selectively pick the footage that you show if you selectively you know show us images and whatnot of things and even full video you can very easily disguise moments in the game so if you're worried about giving away a plot point or if you're worried about giving away some kind of you know big you know moment in the game you can easily show us plenty of the game without you know just just destroying the plot or destroying the experience and so i think that cig is too comfortable from their perspective saying oh no don't worry about it everything's great but the truth of it is is that we don't have that because we don't get to see all the things that you're building. And so I think that, unfortunately, that is kind of CIG's blind spot there with Squadron 42 is they just do not understand that. They And they can't because they can't see the world from our perspective because they're every day they walk into the office. They're surrounded by images, video, people building these things. And they're just like, wow, this is going to be great. Wow, this is going to be awesome. But they lack that ability to kind of pull themselves out of that situation and, and say imagine if I was the backer and I saw none of this what would I think and that's kind of CIG's big blind spot and that's where I think that kind of Chris Roberts kind of stumbles and he falls apart is that yeah you can you know you can get on camera and you can move your hands around you can say things really enthusiastically but the problem is is you got to show us some stuff I mean, people say, oh, they showed us the array, the comm array. Yeah, we, and we've seen that before. They showed, a, that, sh they showed a, that to us, I think, about seven or eight months ago. We've seen that, you know, situation before. We've seen that, you know, site, that location before. And this is kind of the big problem. It's like, no, no, but we want to get it in. We want to do it with high production values. And we want to have a whole trailer. And we want to have music. And we have these big moments, blah, 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 blah. But you don't really need that. You don't really need to go that far. And I and it's such a it's, a, it's such a difficult thing seemingly to communicate to them because they just they don't have the player experience. And I mean, this is kind of it, it's one of the big blind spots I find with a lot of game developers, which leads to the ubiquitous comment of just like, do you even play your own game? do you because like it, it's kind of like and, and it's not a cig thing it's 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 across the industry is they they lack so much understanding of the player experience 
or in this case the backer experience because we don't get, really get to play anything and so I, I really think that you know while nothing over the weekend certainly made me mad or angry or dissatisfied I think that it, we just kind of keep kind of bumping up against the same problem with CIG which is they don't really understand the player perspective and this is where I think that a lot of the, you know, the negative press, a lot of the angry fans of where a lot of this kind of comes from is the fact that, you know, we've seen it in the past where all of a sudden something leaked out, something materialized and the community isn't like angry. They're not mad. They're just, oh my God, look at that. Look what they did there. Oh, look at this. And we get excited about it. And I think that when you try to control the information that you release too much, you can, in fact, strangle the project. I mean, certainly there are other crowdfunded projects or there are other backer projects out there. Certainly Ashes of Creation is another one, come to think of it. And they just love to share. And they share so much, you know, every month. There's just these, and it's not a high production value. It's not trailers with big like blah, moments in the music where all of a sudden you see something amazing looming up out of the cloud they're just showing you the game and they're they're walking with you know, with you through it and telling you about it and telling you some of the things that you can expect and i think that you know cig they're like no 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 we don't want to ruin the experience but that's not entirely the experience is it i mean if you think about what CIG has shown us and the different characters and the different actors who are portraying all these different people on board the UEE Stanton, which is the Idris that uh, you're ha you know, inhabiting for at least a portion of Squadron 42, I would suspect. Um, when you see all of that and you think about all the conversations that you can have with all these people throughout the mission and as you know the situation being the plot of the story evolves how those conversations are going to change relative to new information that pops up as the story evolves you can't encompass that in a 15 minute video and that is the player experience that is something that is going to change every time you play through a game like that you know it's kind of like there are many long kind of RPGs with many branching story choices out there that you probably have played over the years and you know that every time you play through it you can play it a little differently a little decision in the beginning of the game could have a huge impact later on it could make things harder it could make things easier and you can't really encompass a multi playthrough game like that in a 15 minute video you can't give away that experience because playing it and just seeing a 15 minute video of it on YouTube or whatever the, you know it the, they're just not equal to each other and that's the richness of an experience you know of a game like this there are many people out there who put up YouTube videos of full playthroughs multi chapter videos where they they show you themselves playing through the game but does that equate your experience as a player then having go, you know going out and playing that game and no it doesn't not even remotely you know it might give you a few hints a few tips to make your your gameplay a little bit more enjoyable maybe a little bit easier maybe a little bit harder or to give you you know just so you know if you want to get to this point or you want to have this thing you might want to make this decision make your life a lot easier but the player experience is entirely it's entirely personal through your actual playthrough of that game and it's not something that any video is going to translate to you and i feel that cig's or i would say chris roberts's obsession with secrecy regarding squadron 42 really just doesn't help anybody and it certainly doesn't help him um and and that's kind of one of the things that you know when you make videos about star citizen some of us get it some of us don't is that there you know when you when you get a patch that kind of feels a little anemic or it feels like there's not a lot going on under the hood we know that there is a ton of stuff that but we're just not privy to seeing it and it's just it's so controlled what we get and some people say oh no this is the most open development uh, game we've ever seen you know they're sharing so much information no they're not 
they really aren't and you can't possibly like if you believe that then you know <laughs> uh <laughs> i don't know what to say that's kind of scary they they hide so much information from us and it's to everyone's detriment in my opinion there's so much that you can share without giving away major plot points without you know ruining the experience and it, to me it feels it feels tone deaf you know especially kind of putting up a letter and you know here you know here's kennedy and i will not compromise and blah 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 that's all well and good but the problem is is that you you should be sharing more a lot more and this kind of notion that you know i think that it, it kind of comes from that attitude because he gets to see it every day and he's excited by it and he he loves it but at the same time he doesn't understand our perspective where it has been years and years and years and we still have this guy's like, no, 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 I don't want to spoil it for you. I'm not going to show it to you. Um, you really should. You really, really should. I mean, even if you just drop the first three or four missions of Squadron 42 in our laps as, a, as some kind of a playable beta or an early access or something like that to us, that would do so much for the project and do so much for the game and the way that we perceive the game that it it blows my mind that they are in so blind to this it really really does you know in future episodes we're going to talk about uh, at least the next couple we're going to talk about hacking we're going to talk about homesteading that stuff is stuff that i'm extremely excited about um oddly enough those were the standouts uh the ama was in fact by far the best you know it, and it was just text and it was the best part of the entire kind of star citizen citizen con but not really experience was the ama that was the best part of the whole thing and the squadron 42 stuff well i mean it is what it is for watching so, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the star citizen and squadron 42's development please follow please follow please follow us on our social media channels see you soon